Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Friday, Savant's video. Of course, Weather Savant's is my long-range forecasting company. Uh, also, I do some mid- and short-range forecasting, and we always discuss what the upcoming weather is across the Central Plains. Uh, we, we got two big storm systems that are going to affect us next week, so it's a, it's a big change as we head into Christmas. So we're going to break it all down for you. First off, huge shout-out to my boys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premium roofing contractor. They're family-owned. They're local, located at 7th and High in Joplin Street. Numbers right there on your screen. I had them do my roof about a month ago or so. All right, let's go outside. Let's see what's going on. Uh, I'm off tonight at KOAM. I'm still trying to uh, get my days back because I work so many weekends. Uh, Sam Lane's in, so make sure you watch him tonight. Of course, KOAM 5, 6, 9, and 10. Also, you can catch us on Skywatch Weather App and then, of course, Roku. Roku Plus app, or I guess the KOM Plus app on Roku, um, as this storm system gets a little bit closer to us. All right, at least for the evening hours, if you're going outside, not too much is going on. You can see we still have some light snow spinning across parts of Nebraska, northern Missouri, into Iowa, and then rain down across southern parts of Arkansas. Most of us are dry. Most of us are going to stay dry as we go into the weekend. All right, weather question for today. How many Arctic blasts do you expect this winter? Uh, Arctic blasts, we usually at least get one or two every winter, but I think we're going to have several this winter. In fact, we have our first one, which is going to roll in here in about six days next Thursday, and I think we will see five or six Arctic blasts as we go through the winter months, of course, uh, really winter about the next three months. All right, let's go through time. We have a storm system snow chances on Monday. We're going to break that down. We have the Arctic front on Thursday. We're going to take a little bit uh, looking at long range too. All right, so tonight it's going to be cold, lower 20s for overnight lows. As we go into Saturday, uh, still pretty chilly. Look at Kansas City, a high only right around 30, 30 in St. Louis. Joplin about 35, 36. Tulsa, Oklahoma City get up into lower 40s for highs. Uh, not a bad day, but still going to be a little windy. All right, let's go into Sunday morning. Even a little bit colder. 19, Salina, 29, Oklahoma City. Nevada down to 20. Fort Smith down to about 27 degrees. As we go into Sunday afternoon, look at those mid and upper level clouds. They start to increase out across southeastern Kansas into Oklahoma. And this is the beginnings of that next storm system, which will start to roll in as we go into Sunday night. Look at the clouds. We'll start to get uh, the radar. We'll start popping up at least um, some rain and snow showers, mainly after midnight on Monday morning. Now, the lower levels of the atmosphere most likely are going to be a little bit dry, so it's actually going to have to rain and snow on us for several hours before anything reaches the ground. But I do expect by Monday morning, we will have rain and snow, which is going to reach the ground. So let's go into Sunday night, Monday morning. This is a weak system overall. Uh, again, we have to saturate the atmosphere for two, three, four hours. So this is going to be a very fast-moving system that kicks on through, but it's pretty wide span. You can see Oklahoma City mainly rain. Tulsa kind of a rain-snow mix, most likely starting as snow. In northwest Arkansas, up toward Joplin, Kansas City, you'll get a little bit of snow. Topeka, even Wichita, a little bit of snow. All right, let's go through Monday morning. We'll see this band of light snow pushing through. So here's about 1 p.m. on Monday. Uh, you can even see kind of switching back over to rain, northeastern parts of Oklahoma, Wichita, very light rain snow mix. But I do think where this darker blue is from Topeka to Joplin to Fayetteville, we are going to get a band of accumulating snow. And then this just kind of pushes off toward the east and kind of really just falls apart as we get into Monday evening. So this is system number one. We'll talk about snowfall amounts here shortly. Let's go ahead and go into Tuesday. Look at the cold air. Highs only into the 20s, teens, Topeka, Kansas City, Jeff City, uh, 26 for a high in St. Louis. All right, let's go into Wednesday, into Thursday. Here comes our Arctic front. Look at this band of snow. Now, uh, the models don't quite have a good handle on how this storm system is going to kick out. It's been pushing it too far east. It's going to be farther west. The reason I know it's going to be farther west is because I can look 
I'll show you real quick. I can look at the pattern, the heady pattern, and I know exactly where this system is going to push. And what it's going to do, it's going to track farther west. I know this is backwards, but this is going to track farther west than what any of the models are showing. So I know we look at models, we look at models for guidance. Um, I try to break down several models, uh, but I use the pattern for exact placement of where these storm systems are going to go. So our temperatures are going to be dropping rapidly throughout the day on Thursday. We're going to get a band of snow, especially northern Missouri, into southeastern Kansas, eastern Oklahoma, and northwest Arkansas. So most of the region. Uh, the snow ratios will be fairly high because it's going to be so cold. You can see we're dropping into the teens to near 20 degrees. I think this storm has the potential somewhere, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, to drop a lot of snow, maybe a half a foot of snow, maybe more than that. So this is going to be a big system that I really want to watch as we go through the next six or seven days. Snow starts to work out Thursday night, but with snowpack on the ground, look at these overnight lows below zero by the time we head into Friday. We'll slowly start to warm back up as we head into Christmas Eve, but this will give at least a good chunk of the area chances to get a white Christmas. All right, let's move back to Monday. I'm going pretty conservative on this right now because I do know that we have to saturate the atmosphere. So we could get a little bit more than this, but this is what I'm going to stick with right now. Most of the areas in the white are dusting to an inch. Most of this is going to be on the grassy surfaces. We could have a few slick roads, so we'll keep our eyes on that. And then I do think uh, really from Salina, Topeka, Emporia, through southeastern Kansas to Joplin, we have the potential to get one or two inches of snow, there could be some isolated higher amounts. So this is just something we want to keep our eyes on as we go through the next couple of days, and we'll watch it as we head into the weekend. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, leave it in the comment section below. I'll make sure to get you guys videos this weekend as well as we'll get closer to event number one, and then we watch event number two that rolls in later next week. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great Friday. Bye. Cut it. Hope you're having a great Friday and enjoy your Friday evening and weekend.